Hello, welcome to my first Game Maker tutorial. My name is Andy. Today I'm going to show you how to make controls with the drop and drag system that is in Game Maker. And then after I show you that, I'm going to convert that into the GML code so then you can do it with the code instead of the drag and drop. And I'm going to show a couple different methods. Alright, so let's get started. I already made a couple sprites, a couple objects, and a room. So I'm going to go into the player object and I'm going to use the drag and drop to make the controls. So keyboard, left, and you just drag and drop this. You move left, we'll put the speed to 4. Okay. And you do the same thing for all the different directions. So right, movement, right, put speed to 4. And speed can be any number you want. The higher it is, the faster it will go. Keyboard up and up four and keyboard down down four. All right. So with this code, if you push up, the player is going to move up. However, it won't stop. It just keeps going. So we have to put in another one of keyboard, no key. So if you're not pushing anything, you just stop. And now I'm going to also add a collision check. Sorry if there's noise in the background. My dog is sniffing my face at the moment. All right, collision with the wall. So if you run into the wall, you are also going to stop. And that's all there is to that. So we run it, and the controls should work with the arrow keys. Alright, so up, left, down, right. Oh, it looks like it can go through the walls, so I screwed something up. Object wall, move, stop. Oh, I have to make the wall solid. Now it should work. Yep, now I can't go through the wall. So, down, left, right. Now it works tight squeeze but it fits so you can get through this little narrow path all right so that's all working now I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to change this drop and drag and I'm going to go to this control here and put this for co instead so I'm going to start moving so Motion set is the equivalent to this drop and drag code. And as you see right down, it says motion set and that's direction speed. So zero is to the right in this. So right now I am on down. So if I want to go down, I have to go 270, 270 degrees. And again, I'm going to use four for my speed. So this code is going to be the same as this. So I can get rid of this now. And I'm going to just copy this. I'm going to do the same thing for all of these. Except the direction is going to be different. So this one is for right. So if I want to go right, that's going to be 0. If I want to go up, That's going to be 90 degrees. And then left. It's going to be 180 degrees. And then no key.
I'm just going to put the speed to zero so you stop. And same if you collide. Okay, so now it should do the exact same thing, even though I use code instead of the drag and drop. So up, left, right, down. I didn't push anything, I stopped, and I still can't go through the walls. So that worked. Now I'm going to show you another method to do the same thing with code, except I'm going to use a step event instead. So if I go to step, step, again bring down this code, and now this is great and all, it works, but you can't go diagonal, it's kind of hard to get in those tight spaces. So I'm going to use this code instead, and it might be a little smoother. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go if, and then I'm going to do a keyboard check. I'm going to check BK left. So that's the same as the left arrow. And... I also want to check that there's not the place meeting of, and always down here on the bottom, it tells you x, y, object. So x, y, and the object we're checking for is going to be the wall. So this keyboard check is the same as the left key. This place meeting is going to be the same as this checking for the collision of the wall. So this is saying X and Y is our player. That's because this code is in the player object. But I want to check to the right, or rather to the left of the object, so minus 4 on the X to see if four spaces to the left of the object, there's not a wall. And if that's the case, then we're going to move x minus equals four. We're going to move to the left four spaces. So I'm going to copy and paste this three more times. Because we got to go left, we got to go right, we have to go up and down. Again, so now we're checking to make sure that this wall is not. That's what the exclamation point is. That's saying it's not there. Except instead of going minus 4, that would be to the left, we got to do plus 4 because that would make it to the right and then change it so you move to the right. And now up, up is on the y axis, so we have to go on the y, so we go minus 4 and then y is minus 4. And then we're down y plus 4, y plus 4. Oh, and I just realized I didn't have a parenthesis to close those. See, if you have pull on the parenthesis, see there's one on this side, and it highlights the one that it's closing for you. So if I tried to run this how it is, it wouldn't work because I forgot that second closing parenthesis at the end of all these. Okay. 
So that should work. Now I don't need duplicates of these controls, so I'm going to delete all of these events here. And now I'm going to try and run it. See if I got everything correct. Okay, so I go up, left, down, right. I can't go through the walls. And you'll notice I can actually go diagonal now. So if I hold up and left, I go diagonal. Or it makes it easier to get through this little tight area because you don't have to line up perfectly with it like this and then go up. You just kind of slide in there. All right, so that is converting drag and drop into some actual GML code. Like I said, this is my first video. Please comment. Let me know if you like what you see, and I will do some more of these in the future. Thank you.